The first time was widely recognized that the right to water is a fundamental human right was only in 2002 with the Convention on Economy, Social and Cultural Rights signed by 145 countries. And these countries are obliged to progressively ensure that everyone has access to safe drinking water equitably and without discrimination. This is the testimony of Lucy Ackenberger, a teacher from Ghana, and it could be that of millions of rural women in third world countries, including ours. Lucy's story has a good ending. She organized her community and received support from a British NGO called Water Aid to boil wells and install pumps in her villages. This access to water changed many things. More children now attend school. Moreover, there is a lower incidence of disease caused by unsafe. Furthermore, women have time for activities that provide income, such as weaving or farming, and also participate more in the decision-making community. However, she told her story before getting hit. A decade ago had to get up at 3 o'clock every day and walk 5 kilometers to fetch water in a river. He didn't come home before 10, which meant that often arrived late for work at the local school, where she was a teacher. Sometimes my kids had water for washing and breakfast, sometimes not. Often they were late to school without having fed because of my absence. Collect water took almost all day to women. Lack of water used to provoke fights, wife beaten, and even divorces. Dysentery and cholera abounded, and many children su suffering from severe malnutrition. And expected of girls helping to collect water, very few go to school. So, in that vein, they lack many more happy ends. According to UNICEF figures, in the world, more than 4,000 children die every day for lack of access to clean water or adequate sanitation. More than 2,600 million people, representing more than 40% of the population, were lack basic sanitation, and more than 1,000 million still used for drinking supplies unfit for drinking water.